Hi guys, this is your more girl coming back with you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stain this inexpensive wood I got from the Home Depot into this beautiful espresso and golden color. All right, guys, let's get ready for this video. Okay, here's the um, project I'm doing for the day. So today in my studio slash YouTube room, and you did see the tour. If you have not, just please watch that video. So I did this DIY of this bookshelf about a year and a half ago. And I can see how I put trim around the um, edges here. And I wanted to change it. I wanted to have um, a top to it. So what I did is I went to Home Depot and got a piece of wood in the discount section in the back of the store where they have the 70% off and I like this piece of wood because I like the knots in the wood and I like the little texture that is bored and it has some imperfections but that's quite okay I'm not worried about stuff like that so what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to stain and I have some espresso um stain which is going to be kind of dark and then I'm going to use like a gold acrylic paint yes guys I said acrylic to blend with this. Now, this is the first time I'm doing this, but I want this for my candy station. I need a contrast to go with this so everything's not just white. So I think I'm going to try this. This is the first time I'm going to use stain and acrylic on a piece of wood. All right, guys, let's get started. As you can see here, these are the supplies I will be using for this project. And you see here, this is why I use um, the studio side. The paper that I use, I bring it down a little bit of it. Not too much, just so when I do projects or if I paint on it, that it won't mess up any of the carpet. Or and I have this sort of board, um, I, like a fake floor that I did as well. So here I'm using these different types of paint. Not quite sure which one I'm going to use yet. So I have my paintbrush here. I have some spray paint, my stain, and three different acrylics i want to see which of the gold acrylics that would go with this wood so you see over here is my piece of wood um, i'm not going to wipe anything down you know quite it, it's fine the way it is it's not really dusty but see how it has these little knots here and i sort of like that so i'm going to use this side now i do have some pencil marks and some um, this is actually the opposite side that you would not use and this is pressed wood so it's not like a solid piece of wood um, as you can see, that other side right here is the side that you normally would do a project on. But I like the imperfections of the other side. And I like the knots that's with it. So I'm going to use the other side of this. So what I'm going to do is find out which paint I want to use. I'm going to use this side as an example. So I had the different color paints out, um, the different versions. One I thought was a little bit too yellow. Um, there's another one that was kind of greenish gold. And also here is a stain. This, this stain is called... Dark Walnut by Varathan, and this is at the Home Depot. I think it's like maybe five, six dollars, but this is what I'll be using for this project. And what I'm going to do is put it on a cloth. I'm not going to use a brush because the brush is going to be too dark. So I'm going to apply it here with the cloth. I'm going to test this gold here, make sure this color is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to brush it along, and it really, really is a nice gold. I was not looking for anything that was too yellow or too green or too dark. So this is nice. I'm going to sort of like streak it along here. I want it to follow like the grain, as you can see, the highlights, the light part, and the dark part of wood, and sort of like highlight the light part of it, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is just brush along a little bit and just to see, just to make sure it's going to, you know, the effect of the wood is going to come through, especially when you put the dark espresso on it first. All right, guys, so I have this piece. I am ready for this. So we're going to see what this looks like. So as I open this up, oh, look how dark that is. It's really dark and it's a rich, warm color. And I'm going to test it on here just to see, guys. It should be as dark as the one as the knot. So I'm just going to dab it with my fingers real quick on the side. And you see how dark that is? If I put it directly on it, it's going to be extremely dark. And that is not the effect I am looking for. I want the espresso, but I wanted to see the grain, the wood grain on top of the wood. I don't want to brush it because it's going to be so dark and I'm not looking for the effect. Now, with the contrast, it should look gorgeous with that white and especially with all the blush and gold that is on that bookshelf. So here it is. I'm just dabbing some on here. So basically, I'm going to dab it just a little bit. And you want to kind of just wipe some off because you don't want to have a lot of um, product sit there on the cloth, as you see. And then I'm going to slowly brush it. 
and that way I can control the color that's going on. And if it's too light, you can always go back over it and make it darker. But once it's dark, you cannot make it lighter unless you sand it down. But I think this is a beautiful, rich color. So here I'm going to apply a little bit more stain, wring it out with the cloth so it's not too much that's going on the wood. And now you can see that it's it's a beautiful stain. It's um Look at that grain coming through, guys. It's really, really pretty. And again, you can also apply multiple coats of this. So if this is too light, if you want it like a really deep, dark espresso, you just do one coat and you come back and do another. So here again, you see me dabbing, wiping, dabbing, wiping. And you can really see the beautiful, rich, light tones and the dark tones to this wood. Look at that. Awesome. Now, you can leave it just like this, but with me, where it's light, I want to apply some gold to it. Hey guys, I'm just going to kind of speed through this so you can just get the idea of what I'm doing. Um, and as you can see, now you really see the wood. You can see the texture. You can even see how the knots are now. You see that. And it looks like the knots are like really deep um, in there. And it's just amazing that how natural wood is. It's just beautiful. And you could do like any type of wood that you like. But I figure for me, let me try the dark. All right, guys, this is almost done. Definitely use gloves. Just guard your gloves. Okay. And then use a fresh pair of gloves. Where you have no paint and mess up your nails. This is done. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this paint here, the metallic from Hobby Lobby. Now you can see here, I actually put the paint, the acrylic paint on the cloth, and it's just not bright enough. So on the left side, I really did it. I, I actually put the acrylic on the wood. So I'm gonna show you what I did. See how it's just not, it's very faint. So this time I'm going to put the paint directly on the wood. I want the grains to look long. So I'm going to put it on unevenly. And I want this to have the illusion of length here. Some length and some depth. So I want it uneven. I want it to be long streaks across. And then from there, I'll paint it. So as I'm painting this part here, you see I'm doing really thick, bold strokes here because once I brush it off, it's going to just fade because remember, it's a dark espresso and you can always, again, and you're going to see what I'm going to do. You put the espresso back on top, okay, the stain. So you can always go back and forth, back and forth to whatever effect you want for this. And then look how that goes. And you see how it's like more brilliant and more bright than before? And now you can see it really going into the grain and the highlights of the wood. Okay, so you see here now I'm just wiping it off with the cloth. And now I want it to blend with the wood, the espresso. And basically all you're doing is wiping it and make sure it's blended. Sort of like ladies when we do makeup, you know, you go, you put your eyeshadow on, you put your, you know, your darker color on, and then you want your highlight. You want it to blend. So exactly what you're doing, you just want it to blend back and forth. And you can see how now the highlights and you see the length of it. Now you want some of these to be a little uneven. So again, just keep blending it in and just working it right into the wood. So now I'm going to pull the espresso bag. So I'm going to put this on top. So I'm going to put it back on the cloth, dab it like I did before. And we're going to now put everything together as far as we got our wood down we got our dark color our we got our highlight which is the gold now we're going to tone this down so we're going to tone it down by just wiping it on just like we did before very so lightly just wiping it and look how it blends in so we tone it down the gold so it looks like it's sort of like a cohesive sort of effect it's all together it doesn't look like 
the gold is on top of the brown. We want to look like it's one solid gold brown together. We don't want to look so obvious. So this is a good way to do that. And when you see stuff that's little, see how the brush here, I stuffed it abruptly. And you want to have little streaks like that. So again, just go in there and just highlight or outline these little areas and make sure your streaks here are not just stopped abruptly. And you see how it blends back in. All right, let's finish this project, guys. All right, so this spot where it's natural, I'm just looking to see where I can find like a little gold area here. Make it gold here. And then take a little of this, rub it off. And that way it will be nice and gold. Now look at you the golden streaks you can see. Look at that. Okay, then the, the edges up here is going to be just solid gold. This here, I'm going to take the brush. And I'm just going to make this all gold. So now it's time to do the edges. Yes, look at that gold, how it pops that wood. So I'm going to go all around and do the edges to front. I'm not going to worry too much about the back because it's going to be against the wall and you're not going to see it. Look at that wood, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And then you see how it blends. It doesn't look like you just threw gold on top of the brown. It blends together. All right, so now we're going to do the rest of this. This is a nice gold. It's not an antique. I'm not sure what type it is. You know, it's in between the antique and the brilliant gold. And again, this is at Hobby Lobby's. And don't forget, guys, do the side of it as well. All right. So this project is just about done. The only thing we have to do now is let it dry. Okay, guys, so this project is done. Look at the gold edges to this. It pops with that wood. It's very, I mean, it is very rich. And you see here, I'm just kind of like dabbing the little edges. And just make sure you clean your edges as best that you can. All right, so I'm going to let this dry. I think this came out pretty cool. This was a really free project. The wood was free. The guys at Home Depot gave me the wood for free. And I already had the acrylic paint that I got from Hobby Lobby for a while ago. And I already had the espresso. So, guys, this is an awesome project. Thanks for watching this. I know it was a little long, but I wanted to go in detail to make sure you have all the instructions for this. All right, guys, I'm going to put it on the shelf and let's see how it looks. All right, guys, thanks again for watching this video. It's your more girl. Okay, guys, here it is. This is the final project. It's on here. I still got a couple little spots to do, touch up for the bookshelf, this little corner right here. But the wood looks really good. It's nice and even, and you see that glow. And again, I use the U Light Strips, Philip Hughes um, Light Strip. This contracts came out really nice. I think it's very warm. The gold came out with it. It's, it's beautiful. Let me know what you think, guys, and would you do a project like this. Again, this is the first time I've ever tried it. I never put acrylic on wood before, but hey, I always say go out the box and try something new. Another thing I want to show you is the Artist B original um, that did the More Girl sign. This is some of her works, and this is her other stuff. Look at this. I think Marilyn Monroe. I, she is such an awesome, I'm telling you, I went to art school and I can't draw a straight line. Look at the Louis Vuitton. Oh, oh, I love it. This would look so great on my marker wall, guys. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think. You know, if you're interested, I'll put a link to her page. All right, guys, thanks to Guy for stopping by. It's your more girl.